guys, my name's Courtney and welcome to part 6 of the how to series for the My Little Gum Nut Cloth Nappies. This part is going to be all about strip washing. It is recommended that you strip wash your cloth nappies every 6 months. This is just to give them a freshen up. If you notice that your cloth nappies are starting to leak, this could be due to detergent or soap buildup in your inserts and strip washing them will fix the issue. There are many different ways out there that you can strip wash nappies, but this is the way that my little gum nut recommends that you strip wash their nappies. It's the safest way and you don't need to use any harsh chemicals or anything like that. So I will go ahead and show you how I strip wash my cloth nappies as recommended by my little gum nut. I have a whole bag of dirty nappies that I need to wash. So all I'm going to do is just wash these as I usually wash my nappies. If you want to know how to do that, check out part five of this series, Washing in Care Instructions. Watch that video and that will show you how to wash your nappies on a day-to-day -day basis. That's all I'm going to do just for my dirty nappies. So my washing machine has finished its regular wash cycle for my dirty nappies. And now I have a bunch of clean nappies here. Yes, I have a lot of cloth nappies. So I've taken all of the inserts out of the clean nappies so they're separated in this basket here. So what I'm going to do is add my clean dry nappies to my clean wet nappies that are in the washing machine. So as you can tell, the washing machine is absolutely full. So what I'm going to do now is add a quarter of a cup of dishwashing liquid. This might sound strange, but the dishwashing liquid is going to help break down any excess soap that's built up in your inserts. I use the Fairy dishwashing liquid, but you can use any dishwashing liquid that you want to use. When it comes to how much dishwashing liquid you need to use, a quarter of a cup is the standard amount that you need to use for a full load of nappies. If you're only washing a quarter of a load or a few at a time, you can decrease the amount of liquid that you're putting in. So what I'm going to do now is just add my dishwashing liquid to where I would usually put my laundry powder. Obviously it's going to be different for each machine. So now what I'm going to do is turn my machine on and make sure that it is at the hottest setting that it can go. When you strip wash your nappies, you need to make sure that you're using the hottest setting on your washing machine. Then I'm just going to press start. So the washing machine has started the stripping process and I will come back once it is finished this cycle. So my washing machine has finished the strip washing cycle. So what I'm going to do now is continue to do rinse cycles until I see no more suds in the middle of the rinse cycle. So here are my clean stripped nappies. Every machine is going to be different for this process too, but for this one, I just need to skip past the beginning to the rinse cycle here. And you can use any temperature water for the rinse cycles. I'm going to use cold here just to save electricity and press start. So your original actual strip washing cycle needs to be on hot water. The rinse cycles can be on any temperature that you want. Every washing machine is going to be different with how many rinse cycles that you need to complete to get rid of all of the suds. Uploaders, you should only need to do one or two rinse cycles to make sure that there's no suds left, but for front loaders, you're probably going to need to do a few more cycles. So as you might be able to see down here, I can still see some suds, but there isn't too many suds, so I'm thinking that I'll only need one more rinse cycle, and then I'll be okay to hang my nappies out in the sun, but I will have a look in the next rinse cycle. So there's no suds, it's just draining the water now, so this is going to be my last rinse cycle. So, Basically, once it's finished rinsing and spinning, it's ready to be hung out in the sun, and that is the stripping process. Okay guys, that was part six of the how-to series of the My Little Gum Nut Cloth Nappies all about strip washing. If you have any questions that this series has not covered, please let us know via email, and the email address is at the top of this webpage. I really hope that you have learnt something from this series. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch these videos and happy cloth nappying. Bye guys.